Hey there, it's Jen Scow, and I am excited to share a fun collaboration with you today. So I have collaborated with Persnickety Prints to bring you this video, and I wanted to show you these awesome new prints that they have that are, you can print a photo strip. And they're not on photo paper, they are on like a matte finish uh, paper and it's very durable and sturdy. I actually had this one in my purse uh, to show my sister for a while and it still looks great. So just as a little FYI there. But um, what I'm going to do is give you a little sneak preview of some stamps I have coming to my shop on uh, August 1st and you here is a chance for you to win it before you buy it. So if you're interested in winning um, a prize from me as well as from Persnickety Prints who if you've watched my channel for a while you know I pr if I send my prints out anywhere it's always to Persnickety Prints. They have great quality um, and I'm actually obsessed with these photo strips. I used a bunch of them in my recent cruise album and I just love them. But I wanted to show you how you can. Um, I, you can see I left a few spaces open on these photo strips and that's because I want to stamp in those sections or journal. And uh, there is an option on their website for you to actually put, they have like some text uh, you can you can type text there or they have some cute little graphics that you can drop in if you wanted to as well. So that's definitely an option if you're not a stamper. Um, they're really simple and, and fun to use. But I wanted to show you really quickly, here's the stamps that I'm going to be using. This is a sneak preview and this is called the Big High Five Stamp Set. And it has some fun little phrases with a little bit of a twist. So this one says, best day ever, not literally, but it was pretty great. Uh, you can only do what you can do. That's all you can do. Today deserves a big high five to the face with a chair. 100% obsessed plus a little extra. You make me smile so much my cheeks hurt. My cheeks hurt basically all the time. This is amazing. Love you more. And then a bunch of doodled arrows. So I'm excited to use that on today's layout. But I wanted to show you uh, the prints first really quickly. I think I'm just going to use these two colored ones and keep this one for another layout. These are also great to cut into little two by two prints. So if you like uh, two by two photos. These are great for that and I ended up cutting up some of my strips to put in two by two pockets so that's another option for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some products to create a layout using these photo strips and my new stamp set and let's get started. So I decided to zoom you in for this first part. I'm going to stamp on the photo strips first. And so I've already actually tested this out. I gave a strip to my sister uh, with it stamped and it's turned out so cute but I want to make sure that I get it in the right spot and if I need to stamp it twice that I can um, do it again so I'm using my Tim Holtz stamp platform and just some black stays on ink and it ends up looking good enough to me on the first try so I don't even stamp it twice and then with the other stamps I decide to just uh, chance it and use a stamp block so again I'm just using some black stays on ink because that will stamp really easily on a slick surface and then um, I am stamping the arrow in black but I decide to stamp it on some scrap paper and then stamp it out in red instead because I think it there is a little bit of red in the other strip of photos that I want to bring out on the layout and so I wanted to add a little pop of red but look how cute that looks even with just the black stamp I actually gave my sister one with just the black stamping and she has it on her fridge it's really cute so like I mentioned, if you're not a stamper, you can add text um, on the Persnickety Prints website, but I just think it's so fun to be able to um, add in different things, like you could put embellishments there as well, which you'll see me do in a little bit. So uh, just a really fun, fun way to play with those photo strips. I decide to pull out the Chamel Sparkle City collection to create this and it has a lot of clouds and blues that I wanted to play with and I've had this collection for a while and haven't had a chance to really get to play with it yet so right now I've got a few papers layered up on behind my photos with the six by eight paper pad and I'm trying to decide what I want to stick in that other little space on the photo strip on the left and I really love the idea of using this little globe icon and doing something like welcome to the world. These are photos of my new nephew 
and uh, just so, so cute. And he spent about a week in the NICU. And so there's a lot of pictures of him with these breathing tubes um, all up in his nose and stuff. So I wanted to just say, hey, this is our newest little friend and (laughs) welcome to the world. So uh, that's what I decide to make my title. I'm using some alphabet stickers from the little sticker book from Chamel and then the um, the thickers are also from her collection. So I kind of at this point was thinking maybe I needed a darker pattern behind the photos so that the photos pop more. Since they're on white, I really wanted them to pop and that cloud paper wasn't doing much for it. Plus I wanted to put s- some cloud die cuts on here as well. So I just switched it out to a different pattern paper. And I'm sorry that you're seeing my fuzzy hair throughout this video. I did not realize until I'm just voicing this over now. So um, I'm sure I have bedhead. <laughs> uh, anyway, I am stamping using some close to my heart poppy ink. They actually don't carry that color anymore, but I have linked to a similar color, which is called candy apple in the video description below. I've linked to all available products there actually. And, uh, so you can check that out if you're interested, but I really like close to my heart's inks. And, um, I love the way that these stamps are turned out. So I love the phrases and I'm glad that I was able to use that on the photos, but or on the photo strip, but now I'm going to add in that pop of red with the stamping. So I did the arrow. I'm going to do this is so awesome or amazing. And then I will add one more little stamp in red to kind of balance everything out. So there were some red stickers in that collection, but they weren't quite the right red that I had wanted and so I pull a bunch out but I don't end up using them. I am also pulling out some of the holographic foil stickers because there's holographic foil on my title and so I'm pulling out a bunch of the stars and I'm also going to pull out some yellow stars. So it's hard to tell but there are little tiny yellow stars on that blue paper uh, behind the photos and so I decide to echo that with just a few tiny stars on uh, in the embellishment. So I'm just going to glue down these papers now. They are not cut perfectly. I don't care about that because I am going to kind of rough up the edges a little bit and so then it won't matter as much. I decided to pop up one of the photo strips. So I'm going to kind of overlap them just a little bit. I don't want to cover up the photos or anything but um, I'm going to overlap them slightly and I'm just using fun foam on the back of one of the strips. And I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but uh, these, I love the, I guess this is a recycled press print or something for the paper on these prints. And they just, I don't know, I like, I really like the quality of them. They're really nice. If you haven't tried them out, I really encourage you to do so. You could definitely print photos like this at home, but it you would not get the same quality or the same effect. So I definitely plan to print lots more because I'm obsessed with them. Even if you wanted to cut them up into little two by two photos, they'll have a nice white border. It's just, you can't lose. So anyway, I just uh, was sticking down my title there. I'm popping up. This is so amazing. And if you see red on my arm, that is not like a scrape or anything. I For some reason, I got red ink all over my arm while I was making this video. I was not, I don't know, something was going on with me. Anyway, I'm going to glue down the clouds and I'm popping up one of the clouds. And now I'm going to think about uh, adding another pop of that red. So I'm thinking about what I might want to add. I thought about another arrow, but I decide instead to use the solid circle that says love you more. And it's just really cute. I decided to use a one inch circle punch. Now the circle is wonky on the stamp set. So the one inch circle doesn't punch it out perfectly, but I don't care. I think it looks fine. It's good enough. And so I'm just going to add that up at the top. So now I've got a triangle of the red kind of drawing your eye through the photos and through the title. And I'm using my little iridescent stars and just kind of uh, gathering those near the red stamping. So I 
seriously, I'm obsessed with, with this layout. I'm obsessed with these photos. I think they're so cute. I love these photo strips. I promise you that I would not, <laughs> I, I would not be singing their praises so much, uh, <laughs> if I didn't love them. Um, anyway, so I decide to rough up the edges of this and I realized that the underneath side of this cloud paper is yellow and so when I like it when it's folded up just a tiny bit it gives me just another little pop of yellow so I'm roughing them up extra heavily and folding over the corner on some of them. I kind of felt like at this point that I needed just one more little embellishment of some sort and also that I needed to uh, map my entire layout and so I decided to pull out this patterned paper. Um, I do have the the project pad that you can get at Joann's, but I also have some of the 12 by 12 papers. And so I'm using one of the 12 by 12 papers, which I gutted because I want to use the other side of it. It has a really cute text print. And so um, I'm just going to use this to uh, frame my layout. And then I also went to, oh, I don't think I did it on my typewriter. I actually typed up my journaling on the computer and printed it out. And now I am cutting it up with my new tonic guillotine trimmer, which I love. It is so smooth and so great. Um, my daughter broke my other, my We Are Memory Keepers one, which I liked, um, but I just, I love this one. So anyway, I'm just going to trim down the journaling strips so that there's not extra space on the sides. And I'm just going to kind of tuck it in around um, underneath the title and next to this is so amazing. And I, at first I thought I was going to just keep it all to the left side of that blue patterned paper, but I decide afterward that I like it better, um, overlapping. So I decide to overlap it and now I am stamping the day he was born, the date he was born, and the time he was born. Um, the day and the time roller stamp are from Allie Edwards. I've linked to them uh, in the video description so that you can check that out. But they just stacked up really cute and I thought it was perfect for a birth kind of layout. So at this point, I'm trying to look for that other embellishment that I feel like it needs. And I... I just was looking through this a lot. I really liked these little birds, so I decided to add them. Um, they just felt like they fit with the clouds and just, the, I don't know, just it just worked. Uh, so I added those and now I'm still looking for, I don't know, something else. I felt like I had the two birds, but what was going to go in the other little space? I'd, I don't know. I felt like there was something missing. So I'm just kind of searching. Uh, at this point and I thought how cute would it be to add some little cameras and I remembered that in the project pad there is a sheet of camera pattern paper with holographic foil in some of the centers of the cameras so I just cut out three cameras three different ones and I'm going to place them around the layout and I am stilling a, a little technique that I saw Shamel do she uh, had a cam, I think it was a camera hanging off of a cloud on one of her layouts, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. And so I'm cutting, uh, I'm using my, what is that little Tim Holtz? It's not an exacto knife, but a craft knife <laughs> to cut out the center of that camera so that that I can kind of hang it on something. And so I try to hang it on a bunch of stuff toward the bottom of the layout and it's just not quite working and it's making me sad because I really want to hang it from something. So I decide to hang it from the bird's wing and I think it looks cute. It's, I mean, a camera would never hang from a bird's wing, right? But it ends up fine. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down there. And then I'm going to also glue down my other two cameras. One is going to go and kind of tuck in the clouds and then one to the right of my um, journaling there. So I really like the way that that kind of helps finish off the embellishing. And now what I'm going to do is just, I wanted to do some light yellow splatters. Oh, so sorry for my head. I do have bed head for sure. That crazy curly hair. 
<laughs> instead of using the mist that I had, I used watercolors because the mist I had was way too bright and I wanted a softer yellow color. So I'm just kind of flicking that around a little bit and that is going to finish this one up. So I have some close up photos coming up and be sure to check the video description for details about how you can win this stamp set before you can actually buy it and also how you can win a $25 gift certificate to persnicketyprints.com, my favorite online photo processor. So uh, here are a couple other videos that you might enjoy. Again, don't forget to head over to my blog at craftygenscow.com um, and I will have a blog post there about this and the giveaway as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.